Hey, Matt from CJ Offroad. Hey, Matt from CJ Offroad. My first video, five years later, I'm still doing this. A lot has changed. Let's get into it today. I gotta be honest with you guys, I've never really even talked about this story on CJ Offroad. I kind of just popped up the one day. And to be quite honest with you, it was a little bit at random and it was also a little bit kind of not allowed at that point. The way it worked, I started at CJ's while I was in college. One day I saw an ad listing pop up for off-road Jeep enthusiast. And I was like, you know what? I'm on Indeed and that seems like, it was just screaming at me. This is my dream job. I'd been working on my Jeeps throughout my entire high school, college career, going wheeling and having fun. I did a bunch of interviews and I ended up starting there. So I worked in sales, I worked in a little bit of purchasing, and one day, one of the members of our video team kind of came over to me and he's like, hey Matt, you ought, to, uh, you ought to try out and do a Jeep video. The next day or that same day, I went over during lunch. I wasn't even really supposed to be over there doing it. It actually caused a little bit of turbulence in between the departments, but I went over and shot my first video. Literally, the guy behind the camera now is probably the guy that, that did it back then. And we shot that first video and it kind of just clicked. It was like the light bulb went off in my head. I think a lot of the same team members thought, hey, this is the guy to start doing this content. And to be quite honest with you, Full transparency, when I first went behind camera, I didn't know how I would look. You're always fearful looking into this little glass lens thing, how you're gonna sound, how you're gonna look on camera. And honestly, it was something I, I didn't really wanna do, but it was all an accident or a little bit of a happy coincidence that that started. It was a few weeks after where they said, hey, we're gonna move you over to the video team and we're gonna start having you do this Jeep thing full time, installing parts, doing off-road videos, and really just showing off my expertise. A lot of my time spent at CJ Off-Road was, it was fun, it was fun. I will say initially, when I started there, it was kind of the end of 2017 into 2018. So it was the beginning of the JL and the end of the JK. What that meant for me on camera was that we were doing a metric ton of installation videos. Now, when I say a lot of install videos, we were wrenching pretty much every day. Now, the main difference and the behind the scenes cut from wrenching in your garage with your buddies while drinking a beer is that you just get to tighten every bolt. You get to work around as quick as you can. Doing it on camera, basically take the time it took to install that part and multiply it by two. Imagine trying to install a lower control arm bolt while holding the wrench, holding the socket and everything ready to go. And then Ryan behind the camera says, hang on, I got to readjust the light before you tighten that down while you're holding it above your head and trying to tighten it up. It took a ton of time. A five or 10 minute installation video could have taken us two or three days before we filmed it and then had to edit it on the back end to make it look perfect with all the lighting and everything correct. I will tell you that that was, it was a fun part of my job, but there was towards the end, it got to be a little bit tedious because I enjoy installing new parts, but there is something much different about installing a part on camera and having to stop every few seconds to wait to tighten up some bolts. The cool thing with that was we got to work with the JL though and do a lot of brand new videos. I remember some of our initial videos that blew up were like the Mopar two inch lift kit install or the auxiliary harness. And that was because these were the how-to videos that weren't out yet. The JK had been around for a long time, but going into that Jeep, they just weren't there and making that possible and giving the content out before anyone else could. That was something that was pretty cool for me because it was, although it was a CJ video, it was me acting as a resource for those of you at home that just picked up this brand new vehicle and could actually install these parts while following along and seeing it step by step, as much as it pained me, as much as the bloody knuckles and having to stop each time, it was worth it in the end because of all the comments that I got to read from you guys sitting at home. What that led into was the social videos, as we called it. The social videos, those were the fun ones. Those are the ones that I really enjoyed. Can the JL handle the mud? Can the JL handle the snow? Off-roading 101. We got to do videos that showed lifestyle as well as kind of the promotion of parts too. So that was a new thing. It was a new genre. And I got to say around that time, a lot of other YouTubers were starting to also realize the same thing is that you don't necessarily need to hold the product up, look at how shiny, look at how nice it is. Let's just go wheeling in one of these and we'll show how the product works. And that's gonna bring people in. So that's what we really love to do. I gotta say, I enjoyed the social videos. I enjoyed the wheeling and the camaraderie out on the trails and meeting people a lot more than I did the installs. The installs are great for technical and how-to videos, but I like to try and throw my own spin on the social ones and make them a ton of fun. I will tell you that throughout the career at CJ's, the biggest hit for us was the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, I will tell you that that put a pretty big halt on what we were doing as far as video production just because we were staying safe and we were trying to kind of space out everything. During the beginning of that, we didn't know how it was going to go. We didn't know how it was going to look. I will say that being home, being remote, and then going in, and then coming back to work, it put a lot of things into perspective for me. And it made me want to, dare I say, change up my career path a little bit. It's been about a year since I've been at CJ. A lot of the time, you'll get to say a proper goodbye. You'll get to walk around to your teammates, give them a handshake, tell them how, how much you enjoyed working with them. And I can tell you that I got to do that to a lot of the staff, a lot of the people that I spent 
blood, sweat, and tears with to make the channel what it is, but I didn't get to do it with you guys. And when you're doing it with an audience and an entire YouTube channel that you've built up for years, it makes it a little bit tricky. So I will say that that wasn't my goodbye a year ago. It was a see you later, and now we're on the later. So let's get into it. So where am I now? That's the big question. That's the uh, that's the thing that everyone wants to know. And I can tell you, if you guys have seen some Jeep news and rumors videos, you've seen some Bronco videos, maybe some Maverick videos. I do work for the team over at Susquehanna Automotive. And I'll be honest with you, if you filter through some of the older CJ videos, I had done a lot of content there before. So we had filmed some Jeep reviews. We had filmed some, one of our first biggest builds, the first Mopar JL build we did right there on a Firecracker Red 2018. We did a lot of comparison videos with them. And overall, the team at Susquehanna, they're, they're just awesome. I got away from selling all the parts and doing all the installation videos to actually being able to sell and help promote the sale of Jeep Wranglers, Gladiators, Broncos, because we own a Ford store too. And I will tell you, that's been fun for me. You know, it was a good change of pace from selling parts. The neat thing for me is that I've owned so many different vehicles, diesel JLs, hemi-swapped Wranglers, big old Gladiators. I've owned all those and wrenched on them. So when I tell you that a certain engine or a certain trim might be a little bit better for you, it's because I've owned it and now I get to sell it. I've had so many of you guys reach out to me that you've seen me from CJ's, they've seen me on other videos, and now you wanna come all the way this way to purchase a brand new Jeep for me, and I gotta say I'm extremely humbled by it. I will tell you that that might've catapulted me into this channel a little bit more. I've debated creating a channel like this for some time now. It was something that I decided to do, and you know, Ryan, we talked about it and just decided it was time to start giving all my experience that I've had and doing some things that don't necessarily fit into the mold of the corporate YouTube side or the, the business of the YouTube side. I wanna give my experiences and give them them kind of free range. How I feel about a certain part, what vendors I like to work with, what Jeeps I would buy, what Jeeps I own and how I modify them. It's going to be a good opportunity for me to culminate all that into one channel called Dirt Road Cred. I, I'm extremely excited to share this side of me with you, the side of a young family, a young a young group here trying to off-road, trying to live this, trying to navigate the, the lifestyle while still not breaking the bank, while still being able to enjoy this. So if you're looking for maybe some dirt on why I left CJ's, you know, maybe follow along to the channel. Maybe you'll hear some tidbits throughout that. But overall, it was, it was a pretty clean exit. I just wanted to tell you where I'm at now. Probably a small book full of content at this point that we're planning on doing. Some things that I want to do to my Jeep. You guys are going to be right there with me. So a lot of these products I'm going to be installing on this, I'm paying out of my own personal bank account. I'm putting them on and I'm going to give you my full review on them. And I'm also going to show you all the hacks, all the tricks and everything you need to do to really enjoy the best out of your off-road vehicle. So if you guys would not mind, definitely follow along with this channel. I really appreciate every single person that likes this video, that gives it a thumbs up. And when you drop a comment, I'm not like other YouTubers. I'm reading that comment and I'm writing back to you. That's the biggest thing I want to tell you guys is that everything that you guys say to me, I'm going to read, I'm going to check it out and I'm going to comment back. This is a lot of fun. It's a great community and I can't wait to share everything in store on Dirt Road Cred.